come boldly before the throne of grace. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Oh, we fill this house. We fill this house with the declarations of who you are. All because you are God and you are God alone. You are our song. You are our strength. You are a warrior. Yahweh is our God. Who is among you? No one. Who is among you? Thank you. 
this. It's coming like that. It's a prophetic action tonight. Come on, that's it. Something's happening. Oh, do you believe it? Put your faith on it. Put your faith on it. Put your faith on it. Revival fire will touch this land. Oh, it's coming down. It's coming down.
on, watchmen. Come on, watchmen. Get on the wall and prophesy. Get on the wall and prophesy. Come on. Come on. Use your sound. Use your voice. Use your sound. Use your voice. Don't back off. Don't back off. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord, Flagstaff. Hear the word of the Lord. Oh, hear the word of the Lord, Flagstaff. Hear the word of the Lord. I don't know why you're getting quiet. He's asking, can these bones live? Oh God, only you know, can these bones live? Come to life, hear the word of the Lord. Hey. I will lift my voice and prophesy. Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Hey. Breathe again, hear the word of the Lord. Come to life, hear the word of the Lord. I will lift my voice and prophesy.
begin to come together with a sound of lottery. They stood on their feet. With, can you see it? A great army. Suddenly I hear his voice thundering, commanding me to. Come on, let them know. I will prophesy.
Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you that you have told us in your word that whatever we bind on earth shall have been bound in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth has been loosed in heaven. We thank you, Lord, that you have given us all authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And we thank you that you have seated us in heavenly places with Christ Jesus far above principality, power, might, and dominion. And every name that is named in this age and the age to come, in the name of Jesus, we lift our voices one more time and we say, Flag stop, wake up! Begin to pray in tongues. Begin to pray in tongues as we unite with the Holy Ghost right now. We stand in the authority of Jesus Christ through the finished work of the cross. We plead the blood of Jesus over this atmosphere. We plead the blood of Jesus over every intercessor. And we plead the blood of Jesus over our state right now. We establish the lordship of the only king who is worthy. We declare Jesus, you are Lord. Jesus, you are Lord. Jesus, you are Lord. Out of your mouth will you join me right now and say, Jesus, you are Lord. Jesus, you are Lord. Jesus, you are Lord. In the name of Jesus, we take captive every imagination, every vain idea, every thought, every pretense that would try to set itself up against the true knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we say submit now to the kingship of Jesus Christ, of Yahweh. We establish your throne in this building tonight. Ah, it doesn't matter what other thrones have ever been set up in this atmosphere. It doesn't matter what other thrones have been set up in our state. We
it. I say the name of the jaw. The Lord is strong. It is solid. It is firm. And more than Arizona. And the righteous shall run into it. And they are safe. So in the name of Jesus, I solidify the foundation of the King of all kings. And the Lord of all lords by declaring his attributes into this atmosphere on the ground of Flagstaff. And in northern Arizona, the victory of Jehovah Nisi, our banner, over this region. I establish the righteousness of Jehovah Sidkenu for righteousness and justice on the foundation of your throne. I establish the peace of Jehovah Shalom. I, pr- I establish the provision of Jehovah Jireh. I establish the miracle working power of Jehovah Rapha. The Lord who is healing. No, he doesn't need crystals. He doesn't need mysticism. He doesn't need witchcraft. He doesn't need science. He doesn't need pharmacia. He is the Lord who heals. So we establish the healing, miracle-working power of the Lord our God. And in the name of Jesus, I establish the throne of Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord God of the armies. We establish that this place Orpheum Theater, tonight you are a command center for the commander of angel armies, for the Lord God of hosts. Oh Lord, we welcome your angelic activity in this place. And we ask, oh God, that your angels would carry the word of the Lord to and from and to and from. Oh God, we pray tonight you fight on behalf of Northern Arizona. We welcome you to Flagstaff. We welcome into Northern Arizona the King of Glory. Can anybody welcome the King of Glory? We welcome the Lion of the Tribe of Judah. We welcome the Wonderful Counselor, the Prince of Peace, the Everlasting Father, the Mighty God. We welcome the Spirit of Truth. We welcome the Spirit of Wisdom and Revelation for where your Spirit is, oh God. There is liberty and there is freedom. So we will welcome you, Holy Spirit of the living God. And I declare, worthy are you, our Lord and our God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and because of your will, they exist and were created. We join with the angels tonight, and we cry out, Holy! Holy! Holy is the Lord God Almighty, the world.
keep praying in the Holy Ghost as we are praying tonight. Don't stop, don't back off, because we are releasing angelic hosts into this now, into this city, into this atmosphere, and into this northern part of our state. Don't back off. Lift up your voices. In the name of Jesus, Flagstaff, you are the only major city in the top region of the state of Arizona. And as I was praying, Flagstaff, I saw that this city is as a cap or the lid or the covering for our state. And caps and lids and coverings can be positive or they can be negative. I need you to pray in the Holy Ghost and not to back off, rest guard. I call right now for a binding of the strong man that is over this city and over the northern region of Arizona by the name of Jesus Christ. And I say, the Lord God Almighty, rebuke you. And I come against that which has defined the flagstaff, that which has defined the lid and the cap and the covering for the state of Arizona. And I decree a breakthrough of the cap and the covering in the name Keep praying. I decree a breakthrough of religion. I decree a breakthrough of false religion. I decree a breakthrough from confusion. I decree a breakthrough from error. I decree a breakthrough from lifelessness and dryness and deadness in this region. I decree a spiritual breakthrough from spiritual oppression and I say let the lid be broken! Let the breaker break open the way! Micah 2, 13, one who breaks open the way will go up before them, pray, pray, pray. They will break through the gate and go out. Their king will pass through before them, the Lord at their hand. So in the name of Jesus, with the king of kings before us, we break open the way for the covering of the state of Arizona, which is flagstaff. And we say holiness, righteousness, and peace. Holiness, righteousness, and peace. Let the covering of our state be defined as the joy of the Lord and the fear of the Lord and the presence of God. I decree, Flagstaff, you are a territory that will be a protection for the rest of the state of Arizona. As you protect, this state will protect. Shout in this place for the covering. Psalm 91 4, you go to him for protection. He will cover you like a bird spreading its wings over its babies. You can trust him to surround and protect you like a shield. I need some intercessors to pray in the Holy Ghost and to not stop praying in the Holy Ghost. I say, let it be established. Let the covering be established in Arizona. In Jesus' name, Flagstaff, hear the word of the Lord. Your name is a name. Oh, because of the placement of a flag at the founding of your city and at the founding of your territory and the establishment of your territory in 1876, a flag can also be a banner is at the top of our state. Banners declare allegiance to something and flags declare symbols and characters. 
decree tonight that a beachhead is being established from this point in this territory that there will be territory in northern Arizona that will be taken for the kingdom of God and that which has been difficult and that which has been hard and that which has been which has been almost like crusty ground I decree that tonight is a beachhead tonight is a beachhead tonight is a beachhead So I decree Psalm 20 that we shout in triumph at your salvation and victory. And in the name of our God, we set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Lift another shout of agreement in this room tonight. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. The original people group that settled in Flagstaff, Arizona, even in New Mexico, Colorado, and Utah, in the four corners of this part of our nation. Keep praying. And I may or may not have the pronunciation of their name right, but it is the Sinyawa people, the Sinyawa people, and their name means without water. When I was praying and asking the Lord, what do we decree over Flagstaff and Northern Arizona? He brought me to the name of the first people who settled in this region. And I decree tonight with the agreement of the Ecclesia that Flagstaff is no longer a place without water in the spirit. But I say that the rain is coming. In the ladder of the spring rain, it is the Lord who makes lightning, which ushers in the rain and gives showers and grass to everyone in the field. Let fall in the showers, you heavens from above. Let the skies bring down righteousness. Let the earth open up and let the skies bring forth salvation. Let righteousness germinate and spring up as the plants do. Together, lift your hands all over this building. Father, in the name that is above. I come against the dry atmosphere in the spirit that has been over this state. I come against the dry spiritual atmospheres that have been in the churches for so long. And we stand in this place tonight and we say, God, let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain in Flagstaff. Let it rain in Flagstaff. We say dry bones. Hear the word of the Lord. Let the water pour down And I speak to the river That is just north of this city And I say you shall not dry up In the name of Jesus Let the Holy Spirit reign in this territory Shout, let it rain, let it rain departed the Lord has orchestrated our steps this is a divine moment for the Lord has ordered our steps and directed this moment as a holy a holy moment I saw that flag a couple months ago being staked on the peak of Mount Humphrey the highest point of Arizona. God, as it says on that flag, we appeal not to man's words, not to man's decisions, not to man's plans, but to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We appeal to the only one worthy. We appeal to the only one that has the final say. 
get it ha Should I get it ha I hear the sound of rain I hear the sound of rain I hear the sound Can you hear the sound of rain? Begin to dance Can Begin to worship Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Should I get it ha Can you hear it? Can you hear it? It's the sound of rain Heavy rain It's the sound of rain It's the sound of rain it's the sound of rain. 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 I hear the sound of rain. I'm gonna burn this rain. It's the sound of rain. It's the sound of rain. For you may say that the glory has departed from your region. When I declare, it's the sound of rain. Then I hear the sound of abundance of rain. I hear the sound of a heavy rain. It's the sound of 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 rain. As it is a natural God, we declare that it's the end of the spirit God, for it is the season of rain in Arizona. And we declare from the highest point of our state that it's the time of rain, it's the time of outpouring. It's the time of the coming of his glory. Should I get it high? For he cares for the land and he waters it. You send rain in its season and the ground will yield its crops and the trees its fruit. Begin to declare, it's a time of rain. It's a time of rain. It's a time of rain. I can see it. I can smell it. Shut up and then ha. Downpour God. Downpour God. Downpour God. Rend the heavens. Rend the heavens. Rend the heavens. We declare that it's a time of rain in Flagstaff. A purification of the land of Flagstaff. Begin to rain God. Begin to rain God. Begin to rain God. Shut up and then ha. Shut up and then ha. We declare that the tillable land that has gone untilled and the fallow ground of northern Arizona that has gone dormant and unproductive. It has not been broken up. It has not been tilled. It has not been plowed. It's not been prepared for seed. Tonight is a breaking open night for a region. Break open. Break open, oh fallow ground. Break open, oh sleepy soil. Break open, oh dormant soil. Break open, break open, break open, break open, break open, break open, break open. And you have harvested little. Where your fields have been ruined, 
and the ground has been dried up and hard and the grain has been destroyed and the new wine is dried up and the oil has fell I decree and I declare that tonight is a turning point in the battle over a region in a battle over a territory northern Arizona you shall see his glory Your word says, God, if my people who are called by my name, you've got a bunch of people in this room that call themselves by the only name that is worthy, would humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, that you would heal the land. God, we declare over northern Arizona that the brought that the drought has been broken and the famine of the word of God is not your portion. Drought and famine are not your portion. Should I get it high? Should I get it high? For it's time to prepare the seed to be sown, not on shallow ground, not on ground that can be snatched away, not on ground where it can be scorched by the sun, not on ground where thorns can choke it out. Should I get it high? 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 Break up, O oh Lord, the unplowed ground of Flagstaff, Arizona. Do not sow among thorns. Circumcise yourself to the Lord. Circumcise your hearts. That every hard heart in this region would be made softened. Sow for your self-righteousness and reap the unfailing love. Break up your unplowed ground. Flagstaff, Flagstaff, Flagstaff. It is your time to seek the Lord. For he is coming and he's reigning in righteousness. Flagstaff, seek the Lord. Flagstaff, seek the Lord. Flagstaff. Seek the Lord. We declare that the soil of our northern Arizona would be good soil. We decree and we declare that the soil of northern Arizona would be productive. We decree and we declare that the harvest would be a hundred, sixty, thirty times what is sown in this region. gatekeepers and watchmen over the state of Arizona. We dedicate this land to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Should I get it high? We dedicate this land to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Should I get it high? Where evil has been sown, we uproot evil. God, I pray that you would break wickedness. Should I get it high? Let the soil of this region be productive, be tilled, and be ready for harvest. God, we declare that you are raising up laborers. You are raising up laborers for five stuff. You are raising up shepherds to feed the sheep of this region. God, send angel armies to harvest the fields of Flagstaff, Arizona. Northern Arizona and Flagstaff, the trees of your field will reap a harvest. The ground will, it will yield a crop and the people will secure the land. They will know that you are the Lord. They will know that you are the Lord. You will provide for them a land renowned for the harvest. No longer will they be victims of famine. Should I get that high? Did I get that high? Should I get that high? Did I get that high? Should 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 I get that high? Where there has been lack and there has been want in this region. God sent forth an army in this region to prepare the way and the fields for the Lord. God, we ask, oh God, 
that you would release fresh oil, fresh wine into Flagstaff, Arizona. For it is your portion, Flagstaff. The Lord is your shepherd. You shall not want and you shall not lack. I call Flagstaff, Arizona to attention. I call the watchmen of this region to attention. I call for the shepherds in the region to attention. Now is the time to seek the Lord. Now is the time to seek the Lord. For we declare Flagstaff, Arizona, you will be a rally point for my glory. You will be a rally point for revival. You will be a rally point for a great awakening. Let the high places exalt the name of the Lord. Should I get that high? Jehovah Nisi, you are the banner over this region and the state of Arizona. And we declare that Flagstaff, Arizona, should I get that high, would reap a harvest in this next season. We call for the harvest. We call for the harvest. We call for the harvest. Yeah. 
you to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age. Oh Lord, let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may all receive mercy and grace to help us in time of need. So Lord, we speak to the region of Arizona, to the northern region of Arizona.
picture. We say five more ministers. Get ready for angelic visitation. Get ready for angelic visitation. We decree Northern Arizona shall be known for fresh impartation. We cry out for the breaking. 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 agreement with every prayer and every declaration Kiyundas just made and as she began to decree and declare the anointing I heard the spirit of the Lord say tell oh the church of Flagstaff that the anointing makes the difference the anointing will make the difference pastors preachers teachers wondering what it is that's missing it is the anointing there's a ram's horn anointing that was poured on King David. And I hear in my spirit, pastors, if you will ask of the Lord, he will pour out his oil upon you now in the name of Jesus. So we say pour out that anointing oil over those pastors, over the preachers, over the teachers, evangelists, every spirit-filled believer that steps foot in this city. We say let the anointing of the Lord come upon them now. The anointing makes the difference, church. The anointing makes the difference, church. Without the anointing, it's a man-made construct. It's a man-made agenda. Don't let up in the spirit, church. But with the anointing, it is a move of my spirit, says the Lord. With the anointing, I will ordain your very steps. It is with your anointing pastors and preachers that you can stand before your congregation. It is the anointing that will cause the revival to be broken loose in your church. So Lord, we call for an anointing to fall upon righteous pastors, preachers, teachers, oh God, and prophets, Lord God. We call for a true, authentic ram horns anointing. Not the anointing of Saul, but the anointing of David, Lord God. We pray and we cry out in the name of Jesus. Pour it out over this region. Pour it out over this city. I hear a pastor wondering how they can get this intensity in their room, in their sanctuary. But I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, Ask of me and I will break it through. Remember every prayer just prayed previous. 
Lashley, the breaker, I, the Lord, will go before you. Don't try to get ahead of me, says the Lord, but I shall go before you. I've ordained your steps from the very beginning. I know your tomorrow and I know your salvation. For I formed you in your mother's womb, and before I, uh, before you were even born, I knew you. Don't try to get ahead of me, says the Lord. Church, lift up your intercession. I can't get past this just yet. Do not try to get ahead of the Holy Spirit. You're trying to, you're trying to, uh, you're, you're, tra you're buying the cart without the horse. You're doing everything revival homes and revival houses do, but you don't have the anointing. Don't try and get a, don't try to get ahead of the Lord. But seek first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness. And then all things will be added up to you. Seek my faith, turn from your wicked ways, and I will pour out my spirit in a measure that you cannot comprehend. Church, lift up a shout, cause he's doing it now! Oh, pour it out, oh God! Pour it out! Break open, oh God, the heavens! Break the heavens and come down into your house of worship! Intercessors, do you still have some fight left in you? I hear the Lord say, let's begin to speak to the heart of the people. Lord, we declare that every cycle of hot and cold in the spirit is broken and never to return again. We say that every measure of lukewarmness is cast out and we pray that you will return the hearts of flesh, of flesh, that they may receive you and walk in your statutes. Lord, we declare and we decree and we come against now in the name of Jesus any barrenness that is in the spirit, any barrenness that is in your pastors, that is in the preachers and teachers. We pray that there would be no hindrance, no tears, no leaven, no mixture, and that your word would inhibit, or your word would inhabit the praises of your people, and that your word would be the foundation. Everything that is man is built. God said it's time for reconstruction. Every agenda that was not pleasing to my sight, it's time for reconstruction. Lord, I pray over every church congregation. I pray in the marketplace, Lord God. I pray in the streets of the city and in this region. Father, I pray that you will return the hearts of the sons back to fathers and fathers back to sons. I pray that you would unify your people, oh God. It is the linking of arms. It is the unity of the watchmen that will call upon the protection of the Lord in its due hour. Lord, I pray over every hurting heart, over every broken spirit, over every broken man or woman or even child we pray that you would bring restoration and reconciliation we pray that you would bring back oh god the righteous standing of your church i pray that in the name of jesus i rebuke in the name of jesus anything that would try to cause this uh, the city of Flagstaff to be a graveyard for pastors. And I say 
way the anointing is flowing from north to south, east to west. Pastors, receive the anointing, but this will not be a graveyard, but this will be a threshing floor. The soil is fertile and it shall bring forth life, life, life. Come on! 
You are a lion. And I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, Uncover their identity. Uncover their identity. Leaders, you are a lion. Religion has caged you. Religion has tamed you. Religion has made you its servant. But tonight, everything shifts. You are not religion's servant. You are a lion. The tribe of Judah, the inside of you. If there are leaders, ministry leaders, head of ministries or churches that are here tonight, we would like to pray over you. If you want that, don't have to. We're going to ask if you could come front and center. Just make your way through the crowd, fresh start. People are used to this. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna ask my husband to come. As they are coming, I prophesy no more dry bones. No more dry bones. All the ministry leaders, pastors, ministry leaders. I know you guys are from another state. Hi, y'all. We'll pray and include y'all in this prayer. We're focusing on Flagstaff tonight, Arizona. So thankful that we have pastors from Arkansas all the way here for the entire weekend. Come on. We love these guys. We love them. Love them. Okay, all of y'all lift your hands. Where's my husband? Come on up, babe. Yeah, we have some that have been in the balcony. We thank God for everyone who has come out tonight. Those who are watching the live stream. Ministry leaders, I think some are still coming. Hallelujah. 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 If y'all can just lift your hands and close your eyes and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. A fresh infusion of this anointing that we have been praying about will come upon you tonight. And I speak over you as more are still coming down. I'm calling ministry leaders. You are the head of a ministry. 
You lead and you run a ministry and you have other people underneath of you, right? You're not on Facebook running a ministry. Come on, somebody. But you literally have real people with skin on that you see every day, right? Hallelujah. I speak over you an uncommon anointing tonight. Fresh start, everyone in the room, intercessors, begin to pray. Lift your hands and stretch them this way. Come on, I want you to be earnest tonight. This is a very pivotal moment because it is these that are standing here in the front that will lead the rest in this northern part of our state into revival and into awakening. God must change your heart tonight, Pastor. God must change your heart tonight. God must rock your world. The Holy Ghost must rock you and He must shake you to the very core. Pray, pray, pray. I'm saying he must shake you to the very core. You must become right now in this altar, you must become so dissatisfied, so dissatisfied with your current level of encounter. We cannot lead our people anywhere that we have not gone. Come on, pastors. He's going to touch you tonight. He's going to rock you tonight. He's going to shake you. He's going to move and shift you. So I decree a uncommon anointing be impart, imparted to you tonight that uncommon anointing yes even that came upon samson that caused him to absolutely annihilate philistines in the name of jesus i call for that uncommon anointing that breaks the yoke of heaviness that yes is even on a city and on a territory and on a region of our state i say let it fall upon you now in the name of Jesus. Break off religion. Break off compromise. Break off religion. Break off compromise. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. 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 I come against. I come against every voice that has been loosed over this region. I come against every voice that has declared that revival is dead in Flagstaff and revival is dead in this region. I come against every voice and I pull it down now in the name of Jesus. And I speak to every pastor and I speak to every leader. I decree over you now new ears to hear, new ears to hear, to hear what the Spirit of the Lord has to say. Because I decree this is a new day. This is a new day. This is a new day. I decree there has been a breaking open. There has been a breaking open. There has been. I shut the mouth now. I shut the mouth now. I shut the mouth now. I shut that mouth that has been speaking to this region. I say you are no longer heard. I say you must now back off and shut up. I seal that mouth of unbelief and I loose in this place now. Faith and expectation. I decree it now. I decree every spirit that has laid heavy on every church. I decree that heavy spirit must be lifted now. 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 I come against every heavy spirit that is sent down on every pastor. And I say tonight, whom the sun sets free is free indeed. I say that heavy spirit is broken. I say that heavy spirit is broken. I say no more dry places. I say no more dry services. I say no more dryness. I say the river of God is manifesting because not only is there rain coming, there's heavy rain coming. I want you to lift your hands up and I want you to get ready. I want you to get ready because we're getting ready to lay hands on you. And when somebody touches you, I want you to receive right now that fresh anointing, that fresh anointing that has been released over this 
place. I want you to get ready. I want you to get ready. Because you are, my friend, the tip of the spear. You are, ma'am, the tip of the spear. Church, reach out your hands to the man and the woman of God. Spirit of discouragement, you are now broken. Spirit of discouragement, you are now broken. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
is serious about territory. The devil fights for territory. He fights for territory. So when he gets territory, he gets souls. He gets churches. He fights for territory. That is why we're here tonight. To the leaders and the pastors in the room, my husband and I could say one thing. There were many we could say. If we could say one thing that you take away tonight is stop trying to grow a church and start birthing a move of God. Just to make religion mad, I'll say it again. Stop trying to grow a church and start birthing a move of God. When I began tonight, I decreed a, I decreed a beach head is being formed. Tonight, because we have gathered to pray, a beachhead has been formed in Flagstaff, Arizona, in northern Arizona. Not just because Fresh Start is here, because the church has gathered to pray. And I'm going to do something right now. In this room, this size of people, most, I don't know why. You came tonight. I know why Fresh Start is here, but some of you may be here and you find yourself far from God tonight. Maybe you're in the room and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Maybe you've heard about Him. You've heard talked about Him. You know a little about God. Maybe you know about a lot of gods. But we have been decreeing the one true, only living God in the room tonight. There's only one God, my friend. It is Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Yeshua. And I'm going to give an opportunity right now. And here's what I'm going to ask you to do. You say, Pastor Kim, I've walked away from God or I've never known God. I've never received Jesus as Lord and Savior or I have walked away from my relationship with Him. And tonight in this gathering in the Orpheum Theater in Flagstaff, Arizona, I want to give my life to Jesus Christ. Lift your hand. If that's you, lift your hand as high as you can. Right where you keep it, keep it raised. Keep it raised. Come on. Keep it raised. Keep it raised. Come on. Come on. Let them know. Let them know. Come on. Keep it raised. Just those. All over this building. Now, whether you're in the balcony or down in the floor, I'm going to ask you to do a very brave thing. I'm going to ask you to come to the very front, right here where I'm standing. I'm going to ask you to come right in front. Come, come, come. Quickly. Come right here. No, you don't have to. That's good. It's all right, man. Yeah, Hallelujah. Anyone in the balcony? Fresh start. You know what to do. We need to celebrate right now. We need to celebrate right now. Are you down here? Come on. Come on. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Quickly. Quickly. Come. Come. You say, I don't know God. I don't know Jesus. Or I've run away from him. I'm running the opposite direction. And tonight I want to renew my relationship with Jesus. I want to know God. Come on, if that's you. Come on, come, come, come. All the saints are praying. All the saints are praying. Come, come on, come. Come on. Anybody. Come on, I've done it thousands and thousands of altar calls. I know enough to wait because the Holy Spirit is tugging at the heart of somebody tonight. Come on, you're up in the balcony. You're up back there. Come on, there we go. There we go. There we go. Come on, Jesus is waiting. Jesus is waiting. Come on. Yay. Come on, church. Come on, church. You guys could turn and face me. I need some altar ministers. I don't know what our organization has been at Fresh Start, but y'all know who you are. Come and stand behind these quickly. 
I want y'all to look at me and let me tell you that not only are we very, very proud of you tonight for being so brave to respond to this altar call, but Jesus is so proud of you tonight. Jesus is so proud of you tonight. Can somebody stand her up, okay, right here? Hallelujah. The most important decision, and there's probably some hearing the sound of my voice right now, possibly should be down here. You listen to what I'm about to say. The most important decision that you'll make in your life is not who you're going to marry, not what university you're going to attend, not what city you're going to live in, and not what career that you're going to go into. The most important decision is that you're going to give your entire life to Jesus Christ and that he has your full attention and you have his full attention. This is the most important decision, whether it's for the first time or the first time in a long time. What you're doing right now is the most important thing. Nothing else can measure to giving your life to Jesus Christ because one day there will be a decision that is made. You will either go to heaven, my friend, to have eternal life with Christ, or you will go to hell to have eternal death and damnation with the enemy. This is Bible. This is not my making it up. It is the Holy Word of God. You say, I don't believe the Holy Word of God. Then I will quote evangelist Billy Graham to you. Then there is nothing that I can do for you. Come on. Because you must believe that it is a Holy Word and it is the living Word of God. And it is truth. So we're all going to lift our hands with you in this place tonight. And we're going to agree, every one of us in this place, that tonight we're making a fresh commitment of our life to Jesus Christ. Everyone, I don't care if you've been saved 90 years, you need a fresh encounter. I don't care if you're a pastor in this city, you need a fresh encounter. Those of you in this altar that come to give your life to Christ or rededicate your life, I need my altar ministers to lay your hands on them behind them right now. Begin to pray over them. And I'm going to pray a prayer and then lead you in a prayer. Everyone praying as loud as you can in this building. Holy Spirit, touch down on them now, I pray. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, touch the very core of who they are. Holy Spirit, shake them and awake them from the inside out. I pray that every false alignment would die. I pray that every false allegiance would die. I pray that priorities will be rearranged. And I pray now that a living God would touch their spirit to come alive in the name of Jesus. Let a living God their spirit and come alive in the name of Jesus. So tonight, in your precious name, Jesus, I pray that the living river of God would wash over them and they would never be the same. Everybody throw your hands up and shout, Jesus! Shout, Jesus! Every one of you need to say out of your mouth what I am saying right now. You must say it audibly, and it must have volume behind it. The Bible says we must confess with our mouth and believe in our heart that Jesus Christ is Lord and He is Savior. So one more time, everybody, Jesus, I believe that you are Savior, that you are Lord, that you died on the cross, and you forgive my sin. I ask you tonight, in Blackstown, Arizona, to be the Lord of my life. Forgive me of my sins. Take control of my life. I live my life for you, for no other but you, Jesus. I worship you. Be the center of my life. In Jesus' name, shout oh, amen. Woo! Come on. Now, intercessors, pray for them for 30 seconds right now. Lay your hands on them. Come on. Come on.
There you go. Come on, come on. I hear the sound of revival. I hear the sound of awakening. I hear the sound of breakthrough. I hear the sound of breakthrough. I hear the sound of breakthrough. one more time no other sound is greater than the sound of the church of Jesus Christ in this region of our state I decree that the sound of the ecclesia the sound of the church the true church will get louder and louder and louder and as the desperation as the humility as the hunger begins to rise in this region of our state, our God will respond with a thundering voice to awaken this region of Northern Arizona. And there will be revival in unprecedented proportion in the name that is above every other name in Jesus' mighty name. Let it be so. Let it be so. Let it be so. Let it be so. Come on, give one more shout in this place. Hallelujah. It has been the honor of those of us desert dwellers to come up north to be, first of all, to be with you in the body of Christ in Northern Arizona, whether you're here physically or watching online. Second of all, if we could be a bit selfish to come to cooler temperatures, come on somebody. You are a pivotal part of our state, Flagstaff. We hope that you have caught the mind of the Lord and the mind of the Spirit through the worship and the praise and the impartation and the intercession, the declarations and the exhortations that have been made. We all must work together in this state. Come on. So we must all work together, the church in this state. 
Because we believe, I believe, that Arizona has been prophesied. That Arizona is the neck of this nation. Where Arizona turns, America will turn. Come on. So I believe the glory is going to visit our state in unprecedented proportion. What we have seen is only a small measure of what God is getting ready to pour out. So to all of you in Flagstaff in Northern Arizona, we love you. We partner with you. We're going to follow the voice of the Lord. We may be back again. We had people load buses. Come on, all the bus people. Come on and give a shout in this place. Thank you all. People that got in cars and drove up here, and we're going to drive back, most of us, tonight, back to the valley, back to the desert. But I need to say before we close this out and before we close our live stream out, on October, or excuse me, on September the 30th, which will begin our October Doorkeeper of Revival weekend, September 30th is our Pray America for our October uh, Revival Weekend. Tucson, we're coming for you. Come on. I said, Tucson, we're coming for you. I said, Tucson, we're coming for you. So with all of my heart, with all of our heart, I represent my husband. I don't know where he went. There you, you want to come up and say something? Okay. And on behalf of our staff, on behalf of our church, and while he's making his way up here, fresh start, we can it. Those of you who drove up here, who came up here, you do not understand how thankful we are for you. Thank you for making and paying the price, for grabbing the vision and for paying the price. I know some of you have worked all day, took off work early. Come on, can we thank the band and thank all of the media team, all of them that have taken their time, and all of you who have come up here. Thank you so much. We love you. And uh, be careful going home. Amen. How about that? All right. Hey, it's been a joy to be here with all of you. We love this city. We love this region. And as my wife was just saying, we are believing that God is going to pour out his spirit. We believe that there's an awakening coming to Arizona. We believe Flagstaff's going to be a part of that. And it has been a joy and an honor for us to come here and worship in your city and pray in your city. And you know what? God's getting ready to sit down, I believe, on every church that's represented here tonight because you came, because you're hungry. I'm telling you, God's getting ready to sit down over your house and over your people. It's got to happen somewhere so it can happen with you in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you guys. God bless you, Fresh Start. We'll see Fresh Start tomorrow night. Thank you for joining tonight's Pray America service. To watch today's service again, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. For updates on all things Fresh Start Church, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you've been impacted by today's service and would like to partner with us, you can give by texting 623-299-2707. Thanks for joining our live stream. We'll see you next time.